Hello friends, welcome to another EWM tutorial. In this video, we are going to see how to upload a stock to EWM and how to reduce the stock in EWM. So let's start. So first, uh, let's. So friends, to upload the stock in EWM, we have a, uh, a stock upload file where we have to mention uh, the product, the owner, the business partner, the stock type, etc. details like quantity, uh, the handling unit type, and uh, the packaging material, uh, the storage bin. That uh, these things we have to maintain in our uh, Excel file, and uh, we also have to provide a unique uh, uh, handling unit number. It can be internal number or external number because if we are uploading the stock in handling unit so that's why we have to maintain that and this is the file you can download it from uh, internet it is easily available and uh, uh, we have to save this file in dot csv uh, format and uh, so to upload the stock uh, we have this uh, product you can see EWM JR20 and uh, we have this uh, HU number so uh, to upload uh, let me change this HU number and this is our storage bin so uh, let's go to the SP easy access screen so friends we will go to logistics execution then uh, scm ewm then ewm here we go to interface and uh, data upload here we can see uh, other t, uh, t codes related to upload file like storage bin upload bin sorting and stock upload and if you do not know the path you can simply uh, click here and click Control F, and you can search that uh, T code like SCWM slash ISU. So this T code lead it, uh, lead you to here. So we will go to this T code. As we can see, we have a couple of options here. We have a warehouse number, we have a local file or application server, we have posting date, we have a number of HU per posting, we have a tick box which uh, do not post data in ERP. So this tick box, uh, tick box is simply means that if you tick this, the stock will not be posted in ERP system. It will, uh, the stock will, all, uh, will only increase in EWM system, it will not be updated in ERP system and this is the display data when you upload uh, upload this upload this your file uh, it will be dis displayed below so we know all the functions so here I will put my warehouse number and go to upload file desktop And here we have a field separator. So separator is basically a sign which separate our characters in our Excel file. So uh, you can use dot or uh, comma. So it, it is showing message the H is not set external. So a new number is taken from the internal number. So choose the internal number so as we can see uh, our stock is uploaded so before uploading this executing this let me check the stock so I can show you how the stock is increasing we will go to monitor
storage bin is top overview. We can see the stock here. This is our actual stock which is available in the storage bin or HU. So if we sum it here, uh, we can see the total stock is 40. Okay. And so now we are going to execute that. We can see the warehouse task is created and the stock is successfully uploaded. So we will go to again monitor and refresh this. We can see the stock is now 50. So 10 quantities is uploaded to EWM. If we have ticked that box, that quantity is only uploaded in EWM, not in ECC system. So next thing which we are going to see is how to reduce the stock. So for that we will come out and let's suppose we have to find out the path where the T code is. We'll go to slash scwm slash adgi. Now we know that in execution in adgi we have the T code to reduce the stock. Here we can scrap. Here we can scrap our stock or we can reduce our stock. Whatever we can do. Uh, so let me this is the product. Uh, we do not want to scrap. Here we have to select the GI process which is good issue process so we are going to stock correction now execute it you you can fill all the details like stock type party and title dispose uh, etc so here we have all the storage bins or you can see all the attributes where where we have a stock for this product So suppose I am going to reduce the stock for this uh, HU and storage bin by 5 quantity. You can directly post good issue. It will um, delete all the stock, uh, whatever in this HU and storage bin, or you can post partial good issue. So I am going to decrease by 5 quantity. We can see warehouse task is created here. So now let's check in a warehouse monitor. We will refresh it. Now we can see the stock is reduced by five quantity and it is now 45. So stock is reduced. And one thing you have to uh, see here, whenever we do uh, reduce or do the ADGI or reduce the stock from ADGI T code, a queue is created and that queue is uh, uh, communicated to uh, ECC system and uh, the stock is updated in the ECC system as well. So this is the logic behind this. So uh, suppose if you do not want to update the stock in ECC system. In that case, what you have to do, you have to delete that queue. So the communication will not happen between EWM and ECC. So friends, if you find this video informative, please like this video and subscribe my channel.